I am shocked and happy to be saying this, but the Fallout TV series is actually pretty good. And the reason I'm saying it like that is because we all know the drill at this point. Video game movie to TV adaptations are usually terrible. I'm looking at you, Bloomhouse and Scott. What the f did you do? But there's a lot of really good stuff in this series. I'll tackle some gripes I had in the latter half of the video because I definitely don't think it's perfect, but overall it could have been worse, and this video will be spoiler free. So before we get into the writing of the show, I did want to start by talking about the show's appearance because I think it is definitely the Fallout TV show's strongest point. All of the sets and all of the props look incredible. They look like they were ripped straight out of the games. The vaults we see in the show look one for one with vaults that we have explored as players. Other things like the power armor are great. In scenes when we see the inside of the T60 power armor suit, it made me think about times when I was playing Fallout 4 and would be customizing my suits and seeing all of the bits and pieces. The vault tech suits look awesome and the guns are also one for one, like the 10 millimeter pistols, the pipe weapons, the assault rifles. You can really tell that the set and props people working on the show were clearly fans of the games. I mean, I was already sold back in December when we saw the suit of power armor walk out on stage at the game awards cause I mean, holy shit, this is cool, but it's nice to know that the rest of the show was at such a high quality. Now. Let's talk about the world building. The show does a really good job at making the wasteland feel lived in and screwed up. There's also plenty of references to different corners of the Fallout universe. The show makes a lot of references to the NCR, the New California Republic, but the show also does a lot with the Brotherhood of Steel and vault -Tec. In the first episode, we follow Maximus, one of the main characters of the show while he is an aspirin at the Brotherhood of Steel base. We see things like an airship and we see glimpses of the past of him being saved and taken in by the Brotherhood. And as for vault -Tec, we get a lot in this show. Now, throughout the games, we always know that vault -Tec is f***ed up and has done some crazy things like, you know, freeze people for hundreds of years or pump people with psychoactive drugs only 10 days after the doors were sealed, but in the show, we get to see this really interesting story play out between these three vaults, Vault 31, 32, and 33. Now, like I said, no spoilers in this video, but take my word for it, it's a pretty interesting story. As for our cast of characters, most of them are great. Lucy, our main protagonist, our vault dweller sent into the wasteland, is played and written really, really well. The fish out of water stuff that the show does really works for me. But I would say the star of the show here is the ghoul. My guy Walton Giggins plays the miserable bounty hunter so freaking well. And seeing him in the cold open of the show to jumping to what he becomes in the future is done really, really well. Though now is where I start to get a little negative. I don't really love Maximus, unfortunately. I'm not saying he's a bad character. There was just some things that bothered me. And in order to talk about it, I'll be getting into a couple of scenes, but nothing too spoilery. I love the scenes of him as a kid looking up at the massive suit of power armor and the scene of him talking to another Brotherhood of Steel member who used to bully him and make Maximus's life a living hell but you really just find out that the guy who bullied Maximus was also treated that way when he joined the Brotherhood himself, so now he's just doing the same thing to somebody else. But then there are times where Maximus is also like kinda dumb in other situations, like straight up telling such a stupid lie to the Brotherhood and pretending to be somebody who's dead and claiming that Maximus is dead even though he himself wants to eventually go back to the Brotherhood base with the mission he was sent on completed. Also there's another scene where he's revealing the truth to a certain character and he barely tries to explain himself and he just makes himself look so guilty at every chance he gets. Then for the humor in the show, it didn't really land for me most of the time. As we all know, the Fallout series is known for its extremely dark humor, which after watching the show, I would confidently say it's done way better in the games. Like there were really good and funny moments, but I never actually caught myself chuckling or laughing out loud. That's not to say the writing was bad, I just think it could have been done a lot better in that department. But either way, that's all I have to say on the Fallout TV show. That's the end of the video. Go away.